Now you get the idea how you can specify the backend data to the second section. Now let's take a look at how you can do the same thing for this first section, for this most popular third section and for this category section. So let me just grab the data and specify that to this section. So I'm going to back to my project and let me just specify my backend data to the first section. I'm going to open the file section one and write down here as you can see here I'm going to specify the swiper. So what I want to do is to this swiper to this slide I want to specify the backend data. To specify that I'm going to open the section two as you can see right up here you have this feature function to get the backend data. Copy this three line of code and specify that in the first section right up here. And as you know you need to import this component and this feature function. So I'm going to back to the second section copy this three import statement and specify that right down here. Just out of that once you have all this data inside this data variable you can just iterate over it and display them right inside this swiper. So instead of this swiper I'm going to get rid of it and here I'm going to add an object and then I'm going to say here data dot map and inside this map as you know I'm going to specify value and index something like this and then I'm going to pass here equal to sign and then pass a function here. I'm going to specify the swiper slide so I'm going to say here swiper slide and inside this component I'm going to have my slide function this one. So here I'm going to say slide something like this. Just out of that to this swiper slide I'm going to specify key index. So this will just uniquely identify this swiper slide. Just out of that to this slide we pass data which is going to be the value this object and now I can iterate over this object and specify these values to this data. So right down here I'm just going to destructure all the values of this data variable. So as you know inside this section one when you scroll down here you have the destructure statement. Let me copy this and specify that here. Now just out of that what I want I want to display this data inside this JSX. So instead of this image I'm going to simply specify here img variable and the default value is going to be the forward slash. After that to this categories right here I'm going to get rid of this hard coded value and here I'm going to specify categories something like this and the default value is unknown. Let me copy this unknown so we can easily specify that everywhere get rid of this date and then specify here publish property. The default value is going to be unknown. Let me do the same for this title. So I'm going to grab this title get rid of it and here I'm going to specify title the default value is unknown just out of that I also want to grab the data of the description from this variable so here I'm going to say description something like this and then instead of this hard coded value in the object description and the default value is description just out of that let me do the same for this author so in the second section as you can see I just specify here a conditional author component. So let me just copy and paste this right here. Just out of that, when I scroll up, you can see I'm just grabbing the data from the post endpoint. Instead of post, now I'm going to grab this data from the trending endpoint. The pages API, then you can see we have this trending endpoint here. I'm going to specify this endpoint right here. So I'm going to say here trending. Now, just out of that, when I specify this, Hold down. We need to specify this data to this slide. So right here in the object, don't forget to specify data. Back to the project, and you can see you have your data in the slide. That's super easy, right? Now, just out of that, let me do the same thing for this most popular section. So I'm going to open the third section of this block. I'm going to open the third section like this. And from the first section, I'm going to copy few things. So let me copy these three statements because we are using this three statement in all the components. And then I'm going to copy these three import statement as well. Something like this. 
and then instead of this trending we are getting this data from the popular section so i'm going to say here popular you can see inside this api we have this endpoint popular so i'm grabbing this data from this endpoint just out of that let me scroll down and here instead of this post swiper slide i'm going to grab this data from the first slide back to the first slide copy this statement this statement and paste that inside this third section and then what you have to do is you have to get rid of this slide right from here because you know that we have this post function inside this third slide so we pass here post and then pass here data and then i'm going to specify equal to sign and pass value here just out of that you need to specify this value to this post so here you pass data and this structure all the properties so i'm going to copy and paste here the structure properties now just out of that let me specify these values here so i'm going to just change this image source like this then i'm going to specify here categories so get rid of this hard coded value specify category here then i'm going to specify here publish property with the default value then for the title i'm going to get rid of this hard coded value of the title right from here and specify here title with a default value no title and just out of that instead of this description i'm going to specify the description with no description default value and at the end i'm going to just copy this statement and specify that right here let me save the changes back to my project and you can see the most popular section is also ready now let me do the same thing for this last section for this category section so i'm going to open this section 4 i'm going to just copy these three statements right from here specify that at the top to this fourth section leave everything as it is copy these three input statement specify that here just out of that as you can see inside this data you have an array of object but now instead of this fourth section instead of adding here an array of object you are going to call here data property with the value so instead of adding here a map function i'm going to say here an object and pass data call the first object from it and if we have value here then i'm going to call this post function right here something like this and then to this post we pass data which is going to be data of one and if we don't have this data then return nothing now let me do the same thing right here right down here so i'm going to pass here second object and third object so let me just rename this to second object and this became third object and do the same for the second column as well so i'm going to copy and paste this right here and this time i'm going to change this id this became four five and two now because i only have five elements inside this data i'm going to duplicate this second element inside this second column just out of that you need to specify here four five and two that's it just out of that you need to call this data inside this post so here you specify data and this structure few properties here something like this get rid of this image hard-coded value specify here img then do the same for the categories so get rid of this hard-coded value specify here categories get rid of this hard-coded date pass here publish date get rid of this title and specify here title with the default value no title let me back to the third section copy this author and specify that in the fourth section like this you can see the fourth section is also ready save this file back to the project and you can see i'm going to have the result what i want so this is how you can specify your backend data to the front end now we can see the blog page is completely ready next we will move to the individual post so if i move to the post page then you can see we have here the individual post but what i want i want to get this data from the backend as well as i want to specify here dynamic routing 